This story starts in 1976. In the outskirts of Tokyo. That's where VHS was born. Next comes 1977 and the Consumer Electronics Show in Chicago. JVC announces it's going to bring the VHS format to the North American audiences. So distributors are really important in the, in the history of VHS. Now we're on to 1978. Andre Blay buys movies off of Fox, puts them down on VHS, and begins to rent them, thus starting the rental market. Magnetic Video Corporation is proud to offer the following major motion picture on video cassette. Andre Blay, who's from Michigan, um, was the first to license Hollywood movies. Licensed 50 movies from Fox in 1977 and sold them to people and then people quickly started to rent them out because they were very expensive to, to purchase from him. Now I'd be completely and utterly remiss if I didn't mention the battle between Sony's Betamax platform and JVC's VHS platform. Betamax was higher quality and ran for one hour. JVC was lower quality but it was cheaper and ran for two hours, meaning it could hold full length movies. Within a year of its release in 1977, JVC's VHS platform had cut into market share on Betamax by 40%. People didn't like the idea that Betamax limited them to only an hour of viewing. Also, JVC was an open platform, so places like Toshiba and Panasonic made their own versions of VHS players and recorders. And where VHS really began to distance itself from Betamax was in the rental market. JVC was flat out better at getting tapes into rental stores than Betamax was. And now, on with the show. Then, in 1984, in a case between Sony and Universal City Studios, the Supreme Court deemed the taping of television programs as a fair use. Nobody has the movie I want. Hey, if it's on video, Blockbuster probably has it. I mean, we have over 10,000 videos. Wow. And with those legal hurdles cleared, and a decline in the price of VCRs and VHS tapes, rental stores began to take over. And they had a pretty good run for the next 12 years, until in 1997, the digital video disc comes out, eats into market share, and by 2002, surpasses VHS in home video sales. So from 2004 to 2006, places like Walmart, Target took VHS off their shelves. And by 2007, the last major motion picture comes out. Go 